Have you ever wondered, why don't woodpeckers get a concussion? Well, first of all, what even is a concussion? A concussion is a traumatic brain injury resulting from a blow to the head, causing the brain to move rapidly inside of the skull. So how can this tiny woodpecker take up to almost 20 blows per second without enduring concussions, detached retinas, or even brain damage? Scientists have found that the secret is in the bird's adaptive anatomy. The skull. The woodpecker's skull is very strong and thicker than most birds. Despite the thickness, its skull is porous, almost like a sponge, preventing vibrations from reaching the brain. Around the skull is cartilage, adding another layer of padding to absorb the shock. The brain. The woodpecker's brain is quite small in comparison to its body, where the vibration is distributed. The brain is also tightly packed in the skull, allowing for very little movement. The beak. The beak of the woodpecker is made for pecking. But that's obvious. What you don't know is that the beak has an external and an internal layer that is connected to the skull, isolating the external layer from the brain. As you can see, the internal lower beak is longer than the upper beak. Upon collision, the impact travels through the outer layer of the lower beak into the body, away from the brain and skull. The tongue. The tongue or hyoid apparatus of the woodpecker is very unique. It has a long bony structure that holds the skull acting like a seatbelt. It contracts just before the beak strikes to absorb more of the shock. It originates in the nostrils, then divides into two, wraps around the skull, and then joins back again in the mouth. The eyes. Its eyes are surrounded by a fluid that looks and feels almost like a mucus. The woodpecker also has a third eyelid that actually thickens and closes right before impact in order to protect the eyes from popping out of its head. Watching it here in slow motion, we can vividly see the woodpecker doing just this. The skull, brain, beak, tongue, and eye are adaptations that all act as a helmet for the woodpecker's brain at time of impact. The woodpecker has given ideas to scientists that are looking for ways to improve designs such as cars and airplanes that can result in death in the case of a collision. In a headbanging competition between you and a woodpecker, the woodpecker would most certainly win.